Welcome everybody to the 2019 Jack Power Cup here in beautiful Jamaica. Thank you to Canex, its crew, and everybody for putting on this event, uh, continuing to expose the truth and light of cannabis, its possibilities, and its place in all communities. Many of you know, or may know, the name Jack Herrer. Many of you may know the name uh, because of a genetic that carries that name. There's been so many years that this name has been in cannabis that some people forget or don't know that Jack Herrer was not uh, a grower of cannabis in the sense of, of today's farmers, but what he was was the grower of cannabis truth, cannabis access, and cannabis pro uh, promise to the future of, of not just communities, but all mankind. It is through his dedication from the early 1970s when he realized that the falsehoods of cannabis and cannabis persecution was a, a blight on man, its society, and a, a continuation of, of controlling uh, societies to believe a certain thing in order to derive a certain outcome, and that is to remove cannabis from its rightful place in society, history, and the future. It was his book in 1985, The Emperor Wears No Clothes, that for the first time in generations gave those who believed in cannabis from their personal understanding and, and their belief in this plant, be it spiritual, medicinal, industrial, that these thoughts were not new, that these thoughts were old. Not old to those in America, not old to those in Europe. This was old to all mankind for more than 10,000 years. This book helped to inspire folks to stand up, helped to find their voices in their communities, to man access to this plant, its possibilities, not just from an economic standpoint, because it was never about economics. It was always about community. When this plant, when a seed is put into the ground, this plant becomes a part of that community. When that plant grows, that community grows. When that plant is used, that community is healed. The voices that were inspired by this book and by people who read this book and those people who went out and taught the same information and looked for new information that they could use to elevate the consciousnesses of their communities, of their, their home, their country, their cities, their states, and their countries to change the wrongs, to illuminate the truth, and to forever abolish the darkness and the lies and deceit that created prohibition and the enslavement of man around the world for a plant that does nothing but lift it up. There are people that have come throughout history that have stood up through great trials, strife, difficulties, persecutions, beatings, imprisonment, because of their belief in a plant that frees minds and bodies and souls. There are individuals that have said their peace, that have stood in their communities and have paid the ultimate price. The very first award this evening goes to a man who stood up, who took the beatings, who took the ridicule, who took the enslavement, who took the brutal, I would say, loneliness of being a voice sometimes seeming like standing alone. But that voice, standing strong and tall, continued to change 
the world around him, not just in a community, but across the seas and other countries. This man wrote a song called Legalize It. This man knew the understanding of cannabis, knew what it was to believe in a plant that lifted elevations in your mind, in your soul, in your hearts, in your communities. He knew about, he knew about cannabis and its properties before this book was written. But when he found the book and was able to read it and understand that all of the things that he knew to be true in his heart were finally true in writing and in fact and in documented fashion gave him even more strength in his belief that cannabis was indeed the future of not communities, but of mankind itself. Today, I am incredibly honored to be standing in front of his daughter and members of his family. Miami, Tosh, the very first Jack Harrow Cannabis Cup Award for the legacy in the country of Jamaica belongs to your father and your family. God bless you. Um, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, it was it's definitely an honor. Um, I actually didn't realize until recently that this book was found in my father's house the day that he passed away and is actually now in the Peter Tosh Museum in Kingston, Jamaica. So this, the legacies really run deep uh, with this honor, and so it's an amazing, amazing thing, and this is true destiny really manifested where two legends and their offspring reconnect spiritually, so this is amazing. Thank you all. And with that, we will start the recognition and awards of excellence in cannabis. Now understand that awards in cannabis are not because of the economic value that it brings to community. It's because of the life and the spirit that it affects the communities in which it is embraced. The awarding of this cup is not necessarily about the businesses that you see here in this hall, but the products that become what these businesses are being built on. Not the money that they will make, but the change and the understanding and the truth that they will provide to the future. So when we recognize somebody, some farm, a farmer, a producer, an extractor for creating a product with intention of love and respect for the plant, the earth, the sky, and our water, that this, this award represents their excellence in the endeavor of, of embracing this plan. The first award for the 2019 Jack Harrow Cup for best indica flower is terpene plus ital seeds with their afghani number one and i'm looking for the, the company's name and i don't see it is terpene plus are they here
The Afghan is something we work very hard on. It's a strain that we, we hold very close to our hearts. And also we want to say thank you very much to Canix, Smokers Guy, Boba Shanti, Jurassic of course, and to all the people who made this possible. Thank you. Next up, one of my favorites, best sativa flower goes to Waba with their lemon kush. be a business but for me I love the plant and when you love something you put your heart in it and once you put your heart in it you're gonna get the best so to every farmer I would say to every farmer right now we've been through a lot of struggle years ago because this plant I would say I grow a lot of it now but it's a plant that grows to me as a child my mom grew it my dad grew it I'm from my own community, Iron Chill Brighton. I want to say big up to all the Iron Chill farmers in Mulher. King Laya. Yes, and I recognize Steve Zingar from the Carl Cove. You know, I've been a partner there with him too. So, I mean, this moment is a very special one, knowing that we are coming from a far, far away, from in the 80s, being through the trial tribulation. My mom, my dad, you know, and knowing that I can be right here now before so many people with this plant, it is something that I really, really, really and truly love. You know, it's not just for money, but it's for something that is special. It's a powerful plant. Thank you so much. Next, for best solvent extract, goes to Pollen with their Super Lemon Haze. Douglas Smith, Jadi, and Andy Miles, our consultant. I am the least of the apostles, the CEO, CEO of Apollo. It was a team effort, and we are very happy to have received this award. Thank you very much. Jamaica for best non-solvent extract 
Kaya Farms with their stingling butter. Congratulations. Say thanks for the invite down from Chicago. Um, Hans Tash, which seems like a lot of you people know, glad to be down here to speak with Mark and Adam. And um, you know, I'm a stranger here. Um, probably two years in the industry, maybe. Uh, I'm super new, learning every day, which I love because I love to be outside my comfort zone. But speaking of comfort zone, uh, two years ago I couldn't put my socks on. I was getting spinal injections in my back every three to four months. Uh, I was pretty much headed for back surgeries, but I, one last attempt, I tried CBD, anti-inflammatory diet, and next thing you know, I was launching a brand of soft gels that I kind of formulated myself, and then I wanted something that was a little bit more fast and effective, so I ended up taking an old technology, which was a meter dose inhaler, figuring out how to reduce the particle, uh, particle size of the CBD oil down 100 times smaller, and basically putting it into a canister that allowed you to instantly dose and make it uh, very rapidly uh, available to you. So, I'm excited uh, for the product. Thank you for the recognition of all the hard work. Uh, and let's have some fun tonight. Okay. Moving on. To the winner for Best International Flower is Pre to Me Amsterdam with their Skittles. Unfortunately, they are not here, but
but uh, I will accept this on their behalf and make sure that their award gets to Amsterdam and that their recognition is felt uh, not only there, but here in Jamaica. Next, the Jack Harrow Cup 2019 Jamaica for best international extract goes to Cali Kosher and their Papaya Crumble. They are here. Welcome to the stage. beliefs in us, you know, and uh, working together, we can make this happen at the right way, you know what I mean? Keep it right, keep it real, one love. Okay. The final award category. 2019 Jack Harrow Cup Jamaica. The winner for best international product goes to Greenhouse Secret Farms with their special pre-roll. Because they are not here, I will accept it on their behalf and make sure that they understand the recognition and love sent from Jamaica to them. God bless. Before we all leave here today, Again, I want to recognize Canex, Douglas, all of the folks here that put their time in to put on this event, the folks over at the uh, convention hall for all of the speakers that have attended, for all of the intents of their presence here and their ability to, to bring cannabis understanding and truth to the light and the forefront. We in the cannabis community, and when we say cannabis community, it's not something that is small, but it starts from something that is small. It starts from the neighborhood. It starts from the family farm. And as these farms grow, and their friendships with other farmers grow, that these folks create a community of love and respect for one another, with the intention of growing this plant with integrity, with purpose, and with the love of something that is beyond their understanding, but they know that it is what makes them tick. Cannabis, for me, has never been what has been portrayed in media or in the falsehoods. The addiction in cannabis is not the flower. The addiction of cannabis is the community that produces it. It's the love that they bring with it. It is the properties and the healing that is sown with the seed that becomes the flower that enriches all of our lives in ways that we, today we still don't know its full understanding, but we know that the truth and the light of cannabis is also the same light that will power and illuminate our futures. Thank you all so much for being here, participating, and sitting here and uh, acknowledging the excellence of these farmers, producers, and processors for this plant that uh, will continue to engage us all. God bless. Douglas, good afternoon, young man. Um, ladies and gentlemen, just a couple quick words to say that, you know, this is really a four years in and it's such an immense feeling of pride of what I see out here today. 
You know, when we started Canex, we wanted to have a platform that the business of the industry could be discussed in a professional, global setting that people could understand that you could make an industry and, and produce economic benefit while at the same time honoring the, the history of Jamaica as this plant evolves. And what we see here today are people from the, the farming community who just want to farm. You know, they've been doing this for years and they, you know, it's now legal and they want to understand how they participate in this new dispensation, right? We also have people who are just on the other end of the spectrum. They see this as a fantastic opportunity to deploy their capital and make some more money, right? But inside of all of that is this beautiful opportunity we have to create a, almost like a, a new world order. That sounds very, very highfalutin, but what I mean by that is the ability to create good medicine that helps people, the ability to create good jobs for people, the ability to right here in the Caribbean take so many people that have been left out of this economic opportunity and have been on the outskirts of life and give them a pathway that they can participate in a much more vibrant community where people around them can see hope. People can understand that this can give them a different life. And so as I look and I pay great homage to Jack Herra for being here, his foundation, for you know Peter Tosh and what he's done, we have it here, guys. You know, I, this is beautiful to me because we have the full spectrum of what this industry can be. So I just want to say to you, thank you all so much. Please go visit all our exhibitors. That's the reason that we're able to put this together. And that's really it. So thank you so much for coming to Canex 2019. We appreciate it. Thank you.